Hey agency owners, I wanted to talk to you today about time tracking. I know that it is not a very exciting topic and a topic that I do get quite a few objections on when working with clients as well. Um, it doesn't change the fact that I am recommending it pretty much every single day and I am going to recommend it again today. Um, so what I hear so frequently and one of the primary objections that I get when it comes to um, tracking time is either I have a lot of freelancers that really should be employees or more permalance type um, freelancers, or that my team is not going to like doing it and they're going to feel like they've got Big Brother watching them to make sure that they are doing the stuff that they should be doing. So the thing especially and this is especially needed when it comes to a variable billing agency. I, I hope that that's not who you, who and how you bill um, because I'm a very firm believer in fixed fee and value-based pricing. But um, even for fixed fee and value-based pricing clients, you still need to be tracking time to be able to ensure that you are actually allocating and have the right resources available within your agency and that you're meeting the benchmarks that you're expecting to hit. So... You are not doing it, and the piece that's really important that you do when you are structuring this process is that you make sure that your team understands the purpose of it and that it is not for you to be Big Brother, that it's actually to make their lives better and easier so that you have a better understanding of how many resources it takes to complete a project, where the issues and inefficiencies are within the agency so that you can better support them. The point is uh, of it isn't to be constantly watching them. The point of it isn't to um, just be over, be standing over their shoulder every single day. The point is actually to help them and to make sure that your agency is operating the way that it needs to be operating. So just making sure that you are framing it in that mindset. And then the other thing that I do see as one of the challenges with implementing a time tracking system is that, hey, what categories do I want to be tracking? Um, how detailed should I actually be getting? What I do see is that some agencies, when they implement time tracking, can be a little overzealous on the number of categories that you want to be tracking. So I, what I would recommend that you do is that you that if you add too many categories and there's any sort of um, potential misunderstanding as to what the category means and where the time should be put, then you're going to cause issues. I would start with very clear delineation, whether it's like client meetings, project management, um, actual design work, that type of category, initial categories that you create is probably where you want to start. As you want to get further into the data, you may want to add additional categories, but I would say that less is more in the number of categories that you add. I know that it can be difficult to add on additional um, data. Creating additional data that's not there is extremely difficult. So you want to make sure that you have that good sweet spot. If you have any questions on the types of things that you want to implement, and uh, what types of categories you should be tracking for your agency, feel free to shoot me over an email at robert at creativeagencysuccess.com. Always happy to help, and I hope this video was uh, extremely helpful.